Aaron Keller announced some big and popular changes coming to Overwatch 2. Let's have a look. Aaron Keller, the game director for Overwatch, sat down in front of a camera and recorded a developer update. And judging by the outtakes, it uh, took quite a while. I know your pain, Aaron. I know your pain. You know what? It was worth it. While the update was shorter and a little less concrete than I had hoped, it did contain a few big updates that are going to please a lot of people. On the other hand, it was also missing some announcements, which uh, has me slightly worried. But more about that in a minute. And no, I'm not talking about PvE. I have a separate video about that tomorrow. So make sure to subscribe. What was in there is that with the start of Season 10, new heroes will no longer be in the Battle Pass. In other words, they're going to be completely free from the start. Something that Jerry knows the executive producer for Overwatch had already hinted at a few weeks ago. But it seems that Venture is going to be the first hero that is going to be freely available to everybody. On top of that, in case you had not unlocked one of the previous Overwatch 2 heroes, they'll also be unlocked with the start of Season 10. The second big change coming to Overwatch 2 in Season 10 is the Mythics shop. Instead of having the Mythics being the final reward for the Battle Pass, it seems that we'll be earning a currency throughout the Battle Pass. A new currency, let's just call it Mythic Coins. And you can spend those in the Mythic shop. In that shop, you can unlock, for instance, the current Mythic skin. And you can choose which of the customizations you want to unlock on top of that. So if there's a color scheme that makes you look bloated, or a helmet that smells of fish, you can skip it. And you can save up those Mythic coins for something else. Like a previous season Mythic skin, for instance. Because that's right, with the start of Season 10, you'll be able to unlock old Mythic skins in the Mythic shop with mythic coins, but not all of them. There's like a two season grace period before they actually are added to that shop, which helps to keep them exclusive for a short while at least. But in season 10, all the mythic skins up till season seven will be available. And yeah, that does include the cyber demon Genji skin. I think that is going to be the most popular choice from day one. By the way, they also shared that Overwatch is close to 100 million players now. That's impressive. Now, while we're talking currencies, which there are a lot of in Overwatch, it's starting to look like a crypto wallet. With the start of Season 10, you can earn Overwatch coins, so those are the premium coins, in the Battle Pass, both the free and the premium path. And they raise the amount of Overwatch coins that you can earn throughout the season from 540 to 600. I think they could still do better than that, but you know, baby steps, we're making progress. Those weekly challenges that used to give you those coins before now give you Battle Pass XP. Moving on to Season 11, there is going to be a new map, a new push map. I would have liked uh, another Flashpoint map because I'm kind of done with those two maps. But anyways, the new map is called Runasapi. I think. I'm probably mispronouncing that. And as I had predicted in a video this weekend, it is set in Peru. It is actually set in the hometown of Yari and the Inti Warriors. On top of that, in Season 11, we're getting a reworked Colosseo, which is going to be the start of a series of reworks for different maps. See, beyond Season 12, they even want to dedicate the whole season to reworking old maps. Now, they're still working on which maps they're going to do exactly, but... Aaron did add that Dorado, Circuit Royale, Havana, and Numbani are probably going to end up on that list. And all of the reworks that they're planning to do on those maps is based on our feedback. Now talking about feedback, later this year they are launching a new game mode called Clash. We talked about it at BlizzCon. That new mode is going to include two new maps, and one of them is Hanaoka, which is kind of the reshuffled Hanamura. Blizzard is planning to do a limited time Clash trial at the start of Season 10 on Hanuaka. In other words, we're going to be playing that new game mode on that reward map in just a few weeks. That should be fun and it is going to help them to make the mode better before they fully release it later this year. Which brings me to the topics that are missing from this developer update. I was pretty sure Aaron was going to announce a venture limited time test for this weekend. Since we only have like 3 weeks to go before season 10 starts. But nothing. Now either they're keeping it a surprise and they're going to drop it on us like they did with the quick play hack this week. Or they decided against the test. And I know for a fact that they wanted to do that test. So that would mean that there were some issues. Which is not good. So close to release. The second thing that was missing from this developer update is something I was already kind of worried about when I saw the title of this developer update is that we did not get an update on the rest of the battle pass and the shop because that has been the sore point with the community. Can we get better rewards for the prestige levels? What are you going to do with the souvenirs? And how about those skin prices? Yeah. Now, after the video blog went out, they also posted a more classic news post on the website and that stated that the next dev update that should be happening before the start of Season 10 
is going to share more info on the Mythic Shop and additional changes to the Premium Battle Pass. So not all hope is lost. For now, that was it. A huge thank you to my patrons. I could not make these videos without you. So you have my eternal gratitude. Check out this video I did this weekend on some of the future maps, including Peter. And above all, take care of yourself. Take care of each other. Bye bye.